Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we have a little bit of a different video. I am free holding the camera right now, so I do apologize if it's a little bit shaky. I'll try to keep it as steady as possible. Today I wanted to go through a little bit of a shelf tour. Um, these are my two shelves. They're not all in frame because this is quite literally as far back I can stand uh, up to the wall behind me. So this is as good as it's gonna get, at least for this first shot here. We do have two shelves here. Um, as you guys know, I've been collecting since 2020, um, but I've been a K-pop fan and been listening to K-pop since 2013, I believe. So it's been about 10 years now. Um, but this is everything that I have collected pretty much for the last three years. So. We have Red Velvet, we have plenty of Red Velvet, we have Espa, Itzy, uh, Blackpink, uh, Chunga, and G-Idol, and then also like some more random uh, groups and soloists and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and begin the tour. I will probably start with Red Velvet. One thing I also did want to do is insert a photograph of what my shelf looked like. It's only going to be one bookcase, but what my one shelf looked like at the beginning of 2023, just as like a point of reference to see how much it grew this year. So I will insert that in the video right now. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so this is the red velvet shelf, one of the three different red velvet shelves that I have. Um, but this is, I guess, sort of my main one um, because this has all of the albums and most of the albums uh, for red velvet. Um, as you can see here, I have lined up, I have my little, um, uh, whatchamacallit, collect book. I have my collect book right here with the Sylvie photo cards in it, just a few. And then I have one of each of all of the Red Velvet Korean releases. Um, I'm not collecting any of their Japanese releases except for, as you can see back here, let me get my finger in the shot, right there are the Japanese releases for Bloom. Um, and then obviously the Sylvie right there is from Bloom as well. So um, that is the only Japanese release that I collected, but I'm not planning on collecting, at least for right now, I'm not planning on collecting What's it? Cookie Jar and Sappy. Not really planning on collecting that. Um, but the Korean set is pretty much complete. I have one of each album. Aesthetically, I actually really like this shelf. Um, that extra Bad Boy album up here in the top left is actually a funny story. Because um, I have two, as you can see in the row to the right. Um, this Bad Boy album in the top left here is actually a dupe that... Amazon, I tried to order the Peekaboo album from Amazon and the seller sent me the wrong album. They sent me a bad boy album. So unfortunately I have a duplicate of that, but I actually like the cover and I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, make it as part of my display since I obviously just have all of these like lined up right here, not really like showing the fronts or anything. I do like the front of Summer Magic. I like the front of that. And then I like the front of Silgi's Bloom. Just some other things on this shelf. So this is a keychain that I got from a K-pop store in Atlanta when I went to go see G Idol. I think it was in 2022 I saw them in Atlanta. So that was pretty cool. Then we have the Red Velvet selfie book. We have some 8th anniversary merch and some 9th anniversary merch. And I also have the wine cup set up here for right now. And then in the back wall, you can see the Queendom albums, the SMCU uh, Palace albums, and the SM Town, uh, Winter SM Town albums as well. Will it focus up? There we go. Um, as far as the rookie album, I have Yeri's version. I was trying to find Silgi's, and this was actually before they got put back into print. And when they got put back in print, I told myself, I said, I'm just okay with Yeri. I don't need another rookie album. But this is the first shelf. As I mentioned, I do like it a lot aesthetically. It hasn't changed too much from the beginning of the year when I started. I've kind of kept it pretty much the same with minor changes and additions here or there. Um, but I actually really do like this, so very nice there. And then this is my next shelf. So we have a lot of solo stuff on this shelf. And then we have the remainder of the red velvet items. And then we have Got the Beat over here on the far left. Um, aesthetically, I really like the birthday section here on this shelf. I like how I arranged the digipacks with the SM minis. And then you can see Sulgi's cake version up top there. 
and then we have all of the solo releases and then we have got the beat over here i do like the way that i set up the uh sminis here i have silgi in the front and then the rest are just arranged like in age order as you typically would as far as with my shelves that i like want to display the fronts of or like i have to put stuff in the back i try to at least show a little bit of each of the things that I have for the particular album. So like you can see some of Silgi 28 Reasons in the back there, obviously Monster right there. You got the photo book versions in the back here for birthday and things of that nature. The Smini packaging is kind of just stacked here. They're kind of an eyesore if I'm being quite honest because I like it when the sminis are outside of the packaging, right? So like here, forgot the beat, I decided to just display Silgi on the front here and balance them standing straight up like that. Um, so if there's ever an earthquake, God forbid, those would definitely come crashing down, falling over, even at the slightest uh, tremor. But um, I haven't quite figured out how exactly I want to fully display the sminis, so... They're kind of, I, I, I like the way they're at now, but like I said, I think they're just kind of more of like an eyesore, the original packaging, because I do like the idea of having the sminis out like that. But yeah, this is kind of how this shelf goes. We have one more red velvet shelf to get to. So this is the next red velvet shelf that we have, and this is the new edition red velvet shelf, as a matter of fact. Um, this is all the Chill Kill release since all of the package versions were so incredibly pretty i decided that i wanted to try to display all of them in some type of way um i tried to display them all straight across so that the faces were just like all flush like facing and you could see the whole front of the album um but unfortunately the shelf is not wide enough for that so i had to overlap them a little bit so that's why you have like Irene, Wendy, and Yeri partially covered, um, but you can see their faces, so that's good there. I decided to put the Smini, like the, just the Smini cases on top of the package albums. And then you can see in the middle here, I have the bag version, both the packages flank the middle photo books, which I have here. I wish you could see, or I wish I could set it up in a way to where you could see the front of the photo books more, but I personally like the fronts of the package versions a lot more, so I decided to prioritize that when setting this up. And then I obviously just have the two bags out and in the open right here, which is very nice. And then we have all of the poster versions right here sitting right in front. So they're not like upright facing, but they are well, they're, they're upright facing, but they are not like actually facing you unless you walk up to the shelf, if that makes sense. So I really do like this shelf for right now. Um, I'm not in need of too much space right now, um, but when I do need more space, like if Red Velvet makes another comeback or Espa makes another comeback or something like that, I might have to downsize this and not have everything like so spread out and front facing as I do right now. All right, and then this is the Espa shelf that I have. So this is just all Espa on this shelf. Um, so from right to left is from oldest to newest. Um, it's gotten a little bit more difficult, I'm not gonna lie, with all of the versions and stuff that they've been releasing. The last, I should say, definitely the last two girls didn't really go super crazy with the versions. They just released like so many Digipack versions. It was kind of crazy, so trying to like get all those digipack versions because they had like member exclusive versions but then they had a group exclusive but then they had like a u.s exclusive group digipack and then they also had like a, a, a international exclusive version for the digipack it was it was kind of crazy but aesthetically i actually really do like this shelf it took me probably about a half hour to finally decide and like settle on how i wanted to set up this shelf so me personally i really really like this girls cover so i wanted to make sure that i show that a little bit i really like this my world cover so i really wanted to make sure i show that a little bit and then i really do like this poster version cover for my world for giselle so i wanted to make sure to show that a little bit um but obviously i can't put like everything 
that I want on display. So this was kind of like a compromise with how I decided to set things up. Cause like I wanted these poster versions for drama to be like a little bit more prominently featured, but I couldn't really do that really at all. Just with the way things are working out and stuff like that. Um, here, I wanted Giselle's, uh, what do they call this? They called this the giant version. So I wanted Giselle's giant version to be in front here, but the way the book is set up for Giselle, at least the cover, she's like below the threshold of these, uh, what's it? She's below the threshold of these scene versions, so you wouldn't be able to like see her face um, really very well or at all. Um, so that's why I have Karina there still. Um, cause I figure if it's just in regular age order, I can deal with that. But, um, so unfortunately we don't get to see Giselle there. Um, but the reason I have Giselle in the front is, I don't know if you all know this, but I am Giselle biased. So that's why we try to put Giselle up front when it comes to that stuff. Um, but I have all the drama versions over there and then all the My World versions up front here. I have Karina's up front and on top right there. And then this is kind of just like a miscellaneous area type deal from all of their previously released albums. So we have Savage on the far right, and then we have 2021 Winter SM Town, and then of course SMCU Palace. I don't actually think they're going to come out with one of those this year, because I'm just thinking, I feel like they would have like talked about it and done pre-orders for that already. And it's already, I'm recording this on the 29th, and it's like, that's normally when it would release. So I just think SM didn't do that this year. I also don't think that they announced a, a New Year's Day live stream like they normally do. So maybe they're not doing that. I don't know. But then we obviously have those followed by, you know, girls and the rest of that comeback. I have the My World Sminis sitting over here because this is the only space that I could find for them. And then obviously the Drama Sminis right here. But um, yeah, so this is the Espa shelf. It might get a little bit less on display when they have their next comeback if I decide to just do one shelf for them again as well. Um, so I might have to like just stack things side by side as opposed to putting things so I'm like, you know, front facing on display and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, we only just have one more shelf to go on this bookcase here and it is a very quick one. All right, and then this is the bottom shelf on this first bookcase here. Um, we have all of my photo card binders down here, as you can tell. Um, the labelings are a little bit incorrect because if you saw my last video, I got a new binder, which is the red binder, which is right here. Yes, right here. Um, and I moved some things around, so I definitely need to update those side labels. Um, I'm kind of running out of space on this shelf, I'm not going to lie, as you can tell by my sale and trade binder sitting sideways right now. Um, but then over here, we just have the Black Pink in Your Area Weavers membership kit that I got. Um, and then right here, we have Red Velvet uh, Seasons Greetings from 2022. And I actually did just get in the mail the Red Velvet 2023. I guess it's... I guess they're calling it 2024 Seasons Greetings, whatever, you know, next year is. Um, I did just get that in the mail. I don't think I'm going to be doing an unboxing for it. I'll probably just unbox it myself. Just, you know, because it's something to have that, you know, I can unbox by myself as opposed to worrying about filming it for YouTube. Um, but then I also have two things on top of this. So this is just a banner that I got at the G Idol concert in Chicago from this year. Back in August, they were just handing them out. Someone was just handing them out before the concert. So this is what the banner was. And then this was also a freebie that someone was handing out at the concert as well. But I just have them sitting on top of the Weavers membership kit. Um, just because I don't really know where else to put them. But yeah, this is the first shelf, so let's move to the second one. All right, so this is the second bookcase that I have, and this is my Itsy shelf, one of the uh, two Itsy shelves that I have, because there's gonna be one right below it, a little sneak peek. Um, but these are the entire set of Itsy Korean releases, um, and then I have them arranged in release order from right to left and arranged somewhat aesthetically um i have a couple extra copies as you might be able to tell of 
Checkmate, the main photo book albums, and then Cheshire. So they're taking up like a lot of space up here. They take up a lot of space even if I just like put them off to the side, especially because they're magazine and they tend to just like spread out unless they're like really pressed, which I don't really want to do that. I don't want to push them against the sides like that. I figure just aesthetically, this is the best I can do for right now with Itzy um, because there's just so much, uh, especially recently with Checkmate and Cheshire. And then on the next shelf, you'll see uh, Kill My Doubt where they just release like so many versions. Um, crazy in Love is where it kind of got crazy, no pun intended, um, because they released all of those member versions and then the special edition and the jewel case special edition. Yeah, it was a jewel case special edition and then they had the um, photo book special edition, which is this one right here. Um, but then we obviously have uh, Guess Who and then back there we have Not Shy. You can't really see because it's dark, but... Not Shy, Wannabe, and Icy, and then we have this one, Wannabe, cover right here, which it was my favorite. It's my favorite Itzy era to date, the Wannabe era, and this was my favorite cover of the albums that they had, so that's why this is on display here. Um, and then I have this little, like, Rujin here, since she's the bias. This was a Cheshire inclusion that I just decided to put together and put on display, and since Rujin is the bias, um, that's why I have Rujin front facing. Um, but yeah, that is the first Etsy shelf. All right, and then this is the second Etsy shelf. So we have Kill My Doubt. I devoted a whole shelf to it for right now. Um, I definitely have the space to downsize and like just obviously clump all of these together in some semi aesthetic way uh, and make room for more albums when I get them, which. I will probably have to do for Born To Be, um, but I just have all of the albums on the back here, front facing, so you can see a little bit of their covers as you have Yuna poking through right there. And then I have all the special edition versions kind of just lined up with Yeji's in the front. And then I just really, really, really liked the covers for the Digipacks and also the cassette versions, so that's why I have them set up like this. Um, as I, Let me just pan over here so you can see Chae Young a little bit poking through. But yeah, so I really do like this setup. It took me forever to figure out how exactly I wanted to set it up because I was like, do I want to display the photo books? Do I want to display, like, how do I even deal with the special editions? Since, I mean, to be honest, the outside is like, very plain and there's not really much going on for really any of them. Obviously you don't have the girls' faces on the cover. It's just kind of like a envelope type deal, like a paper envelope type deal for the special editions. Um, and I ultimately just decided on this and I kind of, I wanted to just arrange them straight across uh, the shelf, but again, there was just not enough uh, width to the bookcase to do that. So I had to kind of stagger them in this sort of manner. But yeah, so I do like the Kill My Doubt shelf and let's move on. All right, so this is the Blackpink shelf and I'm not super thrilled, I'm not gonna lie, with the setup for this. Um, I recently had to rearrange a lot on this bookcase because you'll find out on the next shelf that the shelf that this is currently on, so this this shelf right here that all these Blackpink albums are sitting on, this shelf right here, is currently bowing like in the back, towards the back of the bookcase, and it's kind of like bending. Um, and I just picked up on this probably about like a month ago or something like that. Um, first of all, I was very shocked by it because I was like, I just bought this bookcase and now one of the shelves is already bowing. Um, G Idol actually used to be on this shelf and you'll see <laughs> You'll see at the bottom why the shelf was probably bowing because there's a lot of heavy uh, G Idol items and uh, just a lot of items in general that I have of G Idol. Um, so I'm not totally surprised, I guess, that it was bowing, but I was still disappointed nonetheless. I know you're not supposed to store LPs, which is on the very bottom right. Where's my finger? Come into the frame, please. Right here. Um, this is the LP vinyl. I know you're not supposed to store those sideways. This is not going to stay like this forever, but this is how I'm storing it right now because 
because it's bowing in the middle, I want everything like up front towards the front of the shelf and then everything heavy and stuff towards the sides. So there's not that much weight on the middle. So I just have the very light born pink digi packs along the back shelf. And then I have everything up front here. So the album and then Jisoo's releases and everything to do with that. And then Blackpink's other releases. I have Lisa's uh, volume three and volume four photo books down here. So that's also kind of cool. Funny story about the Blackpink, the album, since I have it so prominently displayed up front. That was actually the first album, K-pop album that I decided to ever buy. So um, that set in motion me collecting for the last three years. It was a thing where it came out in my birthday month and I was like, you know what? I just feel like treating myself. So I decided to buy a copy. So I bought it from Target and then I was like, wow, all of these inclusions are pretty cool. And then I started to find like unboxing channels and stuff like that on YouTube and photo card videos. And just like the rest of us, I'm sure, you know, decided to embark on this collection journey. So this album will always have a special place in my heart. So yeah, that's why it's always prominently on display. All right, so this is the shelf below the black pink shelf and a little bit to explain with this shelf. This is not how I would love this shelf to be set up, to be quite honest. Um, this is first of all my miscellaneous shelf and basically it's kind of a Chunga shelf because I have all of Chunga's albums. I actually did just get her gotta go album i bought it um second hand so it's a used copy but it came with all the inclusions and it even came with the photo cards too i found it for a pretty solid price um, because they're not in print anymore and they only printed 10,000 of those to begin with so they're quite rare um, and it's in pretty good condition i don't have it on the shelf yet but i did just buy it and it did complete my full chunga collection so i do have all of chunga's uh korean releases but as you can see from up here, um, the shelf, you, you probably can't pick it up on the camera, but it is bowing, and that's why I have the album set up the way it is. This white thing, this like shelf looking thing, is actually um, a shelf that you put into like school lockers. So, like, if you have like a long stand up locker in school, like, this is what you would put at the bottom just to like have a shelf in your locker. I just randomly found it one day, um, and I've hung on to it, and when this happened, I happen to have it sitting like right next to the bookcase because I have other shelves next to it here that I don't keep like K-pop stuff on. Um, and I was like, hmm, this would get me some height to like maybe wedge some albums in between to kind of just ease the bowing or prevent it from bowing like even more. Um, and even though I don't love doing that, I truly believe that the albums I have there aren't really getting damaged at all. It's like, it's a tight squeeze, but it's not super tight. All it's really gonna do is prevent it from bowing even more, which is kind of what I want. Um, and the album that's on the bottom is Chunga's Play album, and that's a really, really sturdy album, just for the record. Very, very sturdy album. It's probably not gonna do anything. And then the Offset albums as well are also very, very sturdy. So that's kind of just how I set have that set up right now because of the shelf issue. Um, again, not something that I love, but something that I have to do. Um, just to get a little bit closer, so those are the Offset, Blooming Blue, and as I said, Play album. And then in the back behind the display here, we have the Blooming Blue and then Killing Me. So you don't really get to see those. And then you have Baron Rare right here. And I actually do have Quarencia behind that. You just can't really see it. Um, and then of course up front we have Flourishing, which I think was Snapping, I think was the title track. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'll have to figure out where I wanna put gotta go, but I'll have to figure out where I want to put that uh, relatively soon. Um, you also have my Big Bang light stick there. That's from Big Bang's concert that I went to in 2015. I saw them in Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Um, very, very fun time that was. Also a very long time ago. It was eight years ago now, almost nine. And these are also just like the kind of random albums that I've collected throughout you know, the last three years. Um, I have all three versions of Les Seraphim's Unforgiven release, plus two jewel cases right here. I don't know 
who's member like they're member specific but i don't know like the member colors i don't i don't have them memorized um but i do have those two members so maybe in the future i'll get the other three maybe not i do not know and then below that i have alexa's three albums that i do have i don't have her debut album unfortunately and i don't think it's going to go back into print but i do have extra i have tattoo and then i have girls gone vogue this is my one singular card album that I decided to buy. Then right here is my whole Everglow collection. And I don't have it complete, but I do have quite a few of their albums. If I see any Everglow albums that are like for a decent price or if they decide to come back in print, because I remember uh, looking not too long ago just to like kind of see if they were in print or in stock in places and I didn't really see them in stock anywhere. Um, Everglow was a group I initially wanted to collect like all the albums for and all the photo cards for, but I quickly realized that just with the amount that they print and then how quickly they go out of stock and just how, you know, expensive resale are, is and stuff like that, I realized how daunting that would be and I didn't really want to tackle that at the time and nor do I really want to tackle it right now if I'm being quite honest. I love Everglow. Um, I love their music so much, but it's kind of hard to get your hands on their older albums and then all the photo cards, especially because I don't really see a whole lot of Everglow sellers out there. Um, but yeah, this is the full fourth shelf and we only have one more shelf to go. All right. And so this is the bottom shelf that I have on the second bookcase. And you'll probably be able to tell why the third shelf on this bookcase decided to start bowing and it's because I have all of this heavy especially heavy G Idol stuff on it it's not really set up as aesthetically as I would like but it's kind of the only because there is so much and I can only have them on one shelf as opposed to right now like I could put itsy on there uh or I could put itsy on one shelf and I could maybe split up G Idol onto two um, to make it work, but I kind of like Itzy on two shelves right now, so that's kind of why I'm keeping G Idol kind of just like all in the same cell shelf. And then obviously I don't have too much to display except for this one Sujin jewel case, which I do really enjoy the cover of, so that's why I have it. And then I don't love that I have the other jewel cases kind of just sitting there stacked like that, but I do think it kind of works aesthetically, maybe, I don't know. Those are the jewel cases from I Love, I Feel, and Heat, the English album. And then I also have like Sujin's other photo book and jewel case right next to Heat as well. And then this is just a closer look of all the versions that G Idol has released. They kind of started going crazy in the I Love era. So like if you basically just look at, let me zoom in like this. We were doing okay. Like, G Idol wasn't releasing too many versions. You know, Tomboy, they had three versions. It was their first full album, um, but it wasn't too crazy. And then we got into I Love, and you had uh, one version, or you had three different versions, and then you had Jewel Case versions. I actually got two of two of the versions, two of the three, because I uh, ordered them from K-Town for you, and they were doing one uh, pre-order benefit photo card for each album you decided to buy, so that's why I got five, because um, I just decided to try to get full set for K-Town for you pre-order benefits. And then obviously you get into I Feel, and it got even a little bit more crazy, because you had polka versions, you had the queen version, the butterfly version, the cat version, the photo book version, um, there might have even been a Weverse version, don't quote me on that though, I don't wholly remember. Um, but there were a lot of versions for I Feel as well, and then Heat obviously had the photo book and the digipacks, I think they called them this time. So yeah, that is the G Idol shelf, as I said. I don't like aesthetically how it is right now, personally, um, but it's probably just gonna have to be the way it goes for right now. Um, if you have any ideas of how to make it aesthetic, please let me know in the comments below. I'm certainly open to ideas. Um, but yeah, let's continue. All right, real quick, I just wanted to kind of show off the light sticks that I have. Um, so this is on top of bookshelf number two, but I have G-Idol, Itzy, and Blackpink. 
And then over here, I have Red Velvet, Espa, and Sogi's photo book, along with a Mamamoo um, sign from their concert in Baltimore that I saw also in May of this year, I believe it was. I think it was May. Um, but those are just all the light sticks I have, so just five light sticks. And then as far as posters go, um, I'm sure you saw in the beginning, but I have this Espa one. Then I have this Got The Beat one, sorry about the glare from the light. And then I have this SMCU Palace Red Velvet one. And then over here, I have this other Espa one. I have this g Idol one. I have this Sogi one. And then I have that black pink one down at the bottom there. All right, so that is basically it for this little shelf tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do just wanna put a little disclaimer out there. Um, this is not me like bragging or anything about my collection or anything of that nature. I simply just want to have a video out there for first of all, you guys to watch um, and enjoy because you guys subbed for a reason, right? And then second of all, also just to kind of like provide a reference to myself of like how my collection is going to grow over the next year. It grew a lot uh, this year, especially. So hopefully going into next year, um, I'll be able to grow it a little bit more. And I am, of course, super, super thankful that I am able to do all of this and obviously put money into this hobby that I really, really enjoy. So I do hope that you appreciate the video and I do uh, hope that you appreciate my honesty and giving this disclaimer to you guys. But yeah, that is basically it. Um, this is not the best angle to finish, I know, but I kind of wanted to get like everything in the shot and this is kind of how we're gonna have to do that. I do apologize if the camera work was not good. This is kind of my first time filming a video like freehanded like this. Um, and I do apologize if I like ramble too much or, you know, didn't really give like a good angle of the shelves or whatnot. Um, but please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a happy new year because I'm probably going to be uploading this on the 30th. I'm going to guess the 30th. If I got it up on the 30th, then I succeeded. But yeah, happy new year. I hope you guys have a good 2024 upcoming. I hope you guys have a good New Year's Eve. Ring in the new year with all your friends and family, hopefully, and just have fun doing it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.